as we look at this paragraph, the first question we got to ask is what is it doing, which is what we did in writing conferences. So is it providing evidence, which is one of the things in our rubric here, textual evidence somehow to support, or is it doing something else? What is it doing? Say that. Okay, it's giving background. So it's doing more summarizing and kind of con uh, providing context and background. So do you see much evidence yet? Okay, so we don't, this isn't going to be an evidence paragraph that we can look at. Note though, this is kind of one of those, the author's voice is, is provided here, but what we do notice is that this one is demonstrating summary. So based on academic argumentation, does it pre uh, present a new perspective um, that demonstrates synthesis, uh, not summary? What we're seeing is, well, this is background. Hopefully the next paragraph gets us into some evidence. For a paper of eight pages, we're going to need to get to some textual evidence and start doing analysis soon. Um, maybe this might have been a better introduction <coughs> paragraph possibly because it's kind of, is it, you're, you're nodding. Right. You were thinking, oh, this reads like the intro. This is like, hey, the year is 1995. Welcome. Right? It definitely gives us a historical context. This almost makes more sense in many ways um, as, as an intro. How many people thought it felt more like an intro? So, oh, like almost everyone. Interesting. All right. Yeah, for sure. It's not connecting back to the thesis and kind of this whole thing about how people are connected. This is almost intro. So this really is a uh, paragraph organization issue, which this is at the very bottom of our rubric. We weren't going to focus on that too much, but sometimes you're going to notice it right away. And because you're looking for evidence, that might be something that comes up for you. Like, oh, your second paragraph sounds like your intro. This isn't an evidence paragraph. Note to self. 